There's some kind of device in the reaction cube. Well, we'll take it with us. Can we go now, please? Not gonna burn through this in time. Uh... I know it's supposed to be building up a sense of, you know, like, ooh, you know, they're cutting it close, figurative and literal. Yeah. It, it might be because we're stopping it every so often to critique for this uh, review, but I, I have no sense of urgency from the character. Neither do I. Like, she's cool as a cucumber. Even Tilly is completely, like, indifferent to it, it seems, you know? Even though she's got, like, the face of, oh, no, I'm scared. The only one that has any sense of urgency is the engineer. And even yeah. then, it still <sighs> comes across two-dimensional. Yeah, it's, like, it's very, very poorly done characterizations. But you know, this thing is, like, turning people into, like, in de uh, in, um, no, no longer inflated balloons and you're like oh well uh this is bad i mean this, is uh, they, really he's, this creature's turning humans into silly putty and twisting them over some newspaper yeah, yeah and they're like oh yeah this is this is bad but uh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. i guess we should run now shouldn't we and honestly can you believe that any of these people who've not uh, this is their first war their first time seeing these sorts of just horrific injuries yeah. can you believe not even one of them didn't throw up from yeah I, I, or the viscera you think tilly would have been blowing chunks or even this guy's best friend is like dead and he's like oh sad it's like yeah. i'd be puking my guts out if i saw that was my friend yeah and i've seen some shit and I, even i'd be like oh no yeah it, it just doesn't come across as realistic uh, you know it's i mean i understand we have to you know suspend our uh, disbelief su suspend our disbelief to a degree but yeah. They're supposed to be science and science officers and engineers. The only security officers were the one the guy who died and the one chick that's currently using her gun as a bolt cutter on the fucking door. Yeah. Uh, I can't uh, maybe for Burnham because she did watch a lot of people die six months ago. So maybe she's a little desensitized. But for everyone else, really? Yeah. In Burnham, I can buy because of her Vulcan upbringing. But uh, besides that, no, yeah. I don't believe any of these people aren't like freaking out. Maybe security officer, maybe just because she's security and she sees right. some shit. Yeah. But the other two should be like, puking their guts out, losing their shit. Yeah, they, there should be a level of panic. And that could have been good character development. You could have had Burnham taking control of the situation if we're supposed to like her, going yeah. like smacking one of them, going, get your shit together, get what you need to get. We need to go now before we die. You know, yes. something. Hey! Hit that worked. We're through. Move, move, move. Oh no, it's literally in the ceiling. It's, it's in the walls. Alias. It's in the walls. <laughs> coming out the walls, <laughs> coming out the goddamn walls. <laughs> uh, this is literally the scene from the first alien when Dallas is climbing through the yep. air shafts. Yep. <laughs> And just wide enough for the creature to go through. Well, it's kind of got like a, I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just how bad the special effects are on this alien. It's yeah. almost like a jelly-like surface texture. The rabbit hole went straight on like a tunnel for some way and it dipped suddenly down. So suddenly that Alice had not a moment to think about stopping herself. But instead Why are you quoting Alice in Wonderland? Did what we the? have any indication that she liked quoting literature when she was nervous and no. anything prior? No, nothing about her so far has mentioned she cares about literature or fiction for that matter. Especially uh, fiction that at this point is like, what, three or four hundred years old by this point in the Star Trek universe? Yeah, and and, and I don't care that she's quoting a book. I just want to know why. Like, this would have been something you wanted to have established prior. Like, even if it was a throwaway comment when he, she, she was talking talking with the uh, first officer back when he was just a science officer. It's like, yeah, or, yeah, it's like, oh, it may be talking about like nervous ticks. It's like, you know, when I get nervous, I just start quoting books to myself. Or if you had her just sitting down reading a copy of uh, Through the Looking Glass, I'd be like, okay, makes sense. Yeah, something. She's high. Her face and body brightened up. She was now the right size to go through the little door into that lovely garden. <laughs> She'd break her legs. Yeah. It would shatter like glass from that height. And she's literally doing a super hero landing. Yeah, as Deadpool would say, that's murder on the knees. Yeah. I, I fell half that distance when I was younger and about 200 pounds less heavy. And I dislocated my kneecap to the point where I had to push it back into position. I had popped Ooh. it out of its normal place. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
This is terrible. And it's not like they've said that, you know, the gravity's lessened or something, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, this is okay. Now this is officially a one. This episode for me, it's officially a one. Yeah, it's just been going downhill. You know, mm. I get, I gave it a fair shake at like say a five average. You know, I was thinking like, eh, it's pro- look, so far it's shaping up as like a five. It's an average. As but as we've been going through it, it's just been like tick off, tick, 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 tick. It's like watching a counter, you know, go down. Exactly. Why would you wait for her to shout, go, she's in the vehicle. And you got a, whatever the fuck that thing was chasing you. Yeah. Uh. And she's back in yellow for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why they put her back in yellow. I mean, it's a nitpick, but still, though, it's like, be consistent with what you're doing with her. Yeah. Is she still prisoner or what? Is she conscript for your for your science department? Just just make it clear what her role is here. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what they're thinking, honestly. <laughs> no, no, neither do I. I have no idea what is her job. What is she doing here? Yeah. The other prisoners are being transferred to the shuttle now. It's scheduled to leave within the hour. I'll be on it, sir. It has not gone unnoticed that during your time on this ship, you conducted yourself in a respectable manner. And from what I done nothing. She's done. Li- yeah, yeah. She's done literally nothing. And how long has she been on this ship? They're now they're just now they're transferring the other prisoners. And like, what about what about the other prisoners? What the fuck? Even what's the point of keeping them there? I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> this is this is <sighs> this is dumb. This is really dumb. I understand <sighs> you were invaluable to the boarding party, which I was pleased to hear, since I was the one who recommended your involvement. I appreciate your faith in me. Better question. Why was she even on the boarding party? Because we didn't see what she was supposed to do in the boarding party. Yeah, we have no idea what her purpose was other than she can download stuff onto a computer. And climb through vents while quoting Alice in Wonderland for some reason. Yeah. Officer, until you weren't. If only you hadn't. Or a valuable ass. Okay, so now we flip from Vulcan mode to emotional broken woman mode again. Yeah. What? It, 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 it's not that the actress doesn't have range. They just don't let her do it. It's all or one extreme or the other. Cold and uncaring or two seconds away from breaking down and crying in a, in a fit. They gotta really watch the episodes The Other Side of Paradise and mm-hmm. like the naked time from TSO to, and pay attention to Spock because that shows really good range for Spock as like emotion and Vulcan side of him, you know? Right. That. It is a loss for Starfleet. Thank you. Um, are they going to explain the demon monster at all? Uh, probably not. Oh, beautiful. Um, the other aspect we have to contend with is, what was the point of that little scene? I mean, other than to try to be an emotional touching, you know, blah, 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 between her and her former friend. When we know it, it's been so telegraphed, not just because of, you know, what the you know produ- production company have said, she's the main character. Mm-hmm. We already know she's going to walk in there and he's going to go, welcome back to Starfleet. Yeah. Yep. It's not a surprise if you've already told us. You know what I mean? Yep. Well, there she is. Captain. Michael Burnham. I just want to see that Tribble jump across the table, land on her face. (laughs) (laughs) She like crumples to the floor. You've served (laughs) your purpose. That's a good Tribble. Yeah. (laughs) I want to see that thing sprout arms like the the logo on the Arm & Hammer baking soda boxes and just pummel her in Tilly. Mm -hmm. No, no. I want it to turn out to be one of the cannibal Tribbles from the cartoon series. It just jumps across the room, clatches onto her face and just starts eating. And he just laughs. He's like, you've served your purpose. Purpose. <laughs> <laughs> is that the alternate universe triple the one with like the teeth and shit and fangs no that was an alternate universe that was uh it's technically canon it what sometimes tribbles go cannibal and they just start hunting other tribbles Ooh, that sounds awesome yeah i would like to extend an official invitation to you to join the discovery and be a member of our crew Yep. You no build it. up. No build up. Just hey, welcome back, sir. For doing nothing that even warrants you coming back. Yeah. 
if you're going to make it like, hey, she's a member of the crew, all this other stuff is kind of water on the bridge now. Have her do something interesting. She didn't do anything particularly interesting or, you know, merit worthy. Yeah, she literally just deciphered code and outran a monster. Yep. Yep.